Tulsa drivers share the road with many enthusiastic cyclists here, and the folks at Graves McLean want to help keep those bike riders safe, including the little ones. We welcome Chad McLean here this morning to tell us more about a community initiative for bicycle safety. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. And anyone who's driven around Tulsa has noticed we do have a lot of enthusiastic bikers around town, so it is good to keep their safety in mind. How did you guys think up, or what started this conversation to even start an initiative? Our law firm handles personal injury accidents, including uh, serious brain injury and spinal cord injury uh, accidents. And we saw over time a lot of them involve children on bicycles without helmets and without safety equipment. And um, we just noticed it as an opportunity to help with more or less a public safety announcement in the community. So you guys are passing out helmets, which we will talk about in just a moment. But first, one of the really scary statistics you told me about has to do with close to home. It hits very close to home. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of scary, but it makes sense when you think about it as most of the serious injury and fatality accidents for children 5 to 12 years old happen within a mile of their home. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there are things that we can do to prevent those things. We can't uh, do anything about the drivers on the road, but we can teach our children how to look out for the dangerous things. I love that you guys are raising awareness in general. Pay more attention when you're close to home as well for those children. Right. All right, so the helmets. You guys are giving these away and uh, a, a location at the Oilers games, which they wear right. helmets, so that's cool. Right. <laughs> at, the Tulsa Oiler, at the Tulsa Oilers game, we, um, we're a corporate sponsor of the Oilers this uh -huh. year, so we're present and have a booth at, at a few games this year. I, the Tulsa Oilers have 33 home games, which wow. I didn't know about. That's a lot. Um, but at every home game, we sponsor the crash of the game, and um, the first five people to the booth have the opportunity to get a youth safety helmet for their child. Another thing to point out is I have a five and a seven year old and they don't use the helmets just for bicycles, they use them on scooters and okay. skateboards and different things like that. It's the same, generally the same safety helmet. So, Good to um, know. There's we, also a social media aspect you were telling me. Correct. We have a Facebook page and we have a Twitter uh -huh. account and if you like us on Facebook at the Oilers game, the first five people to like us when we're not present at the game are also eligible for the five helmets. So you guys are, you have a presence at every game keeping the kiddos safe. Correct. All right, so that that is great, some of the things that you were telling me. Also, I didn't realize, or maybe I kind of did, but when you said it reminded me, that um, bicyclists have to follow the same rules that motorists do on the road, which is something to keep right. in mind. Under Oklahoma law, um, a bicycle equals a car. Okay. That's the simplest way to remember it. So you have to follow all the rules of the road, um, traffic signals, stopping at stop signs, giving signals when you're going to turn, staying on the right side of the road, all of the things that you have to do in a car. Mm -hmm. And so that's how you teach your children. There are safety rules of the road, and, and you need to teach your children to follow those rules. And that makes learning how to properly use a bike a really good gateway into learning how to properly man a vehicle as it well. It certainly dovetails into when they become older. All right, such a, so many great things to think about. All right, so when is the next Oilers, sorry to put you on the spot, when is the next Oilers game that you guys... You, you are putting me on the darn. spot. Darn, <laughs> we'll find that I out. I think we'll it's this weekend. Actually. This weekend, yeah. okay, so if you were there, the first five people to the booth after the crash of the game? Crash of the game's in the third period towards okay. the end. Um, and they obviously they recognize the crash of the game, the first five people to the booth after that. After the crash of the game, if our table is not there, the first five people to like us on Facebook, same thing. All right, so can you like and unlike? You can. We <laughs> prefer that you like and continue to like. like. I mean, so that you can register again if you're already liking. No, I think we would know your name. Okay, good to know. All <laughs> if right. There, if there are any problems with it, you can just call the law firm. The phone number is 918-359-6600. So. Great. Great segue into me showing your full screen here. Thank you so much for telling us about this and for Thank the you. initiative you've started here in Tulsa. It's Graves McLean. It's the Boulder Towers there at 1437 South Boulder Avenue, Suite 1010. And you can give them a call at 918-359-660. GravesMcLean.com for more information. Of course, they're also on Facebook. Like them and stay liking them. And on Twitter as well.